all right guys welcome back again so we're going to be entering the uh, item number two here setting design parameters okay so we open this quickly and um, what we're going to do is you come here you come below here when you come below you, you you're going to click the arrow next to the tool strip drop down button okay you click on that then edit current floor default setting it did current floor default setting click on that it's going to open everything about it okay so our imposed load which is the live load is 1.5 this is a residential apartment finishes 1.2 it's okay partition allowance one kilo newton that's fine my soil bearing capacity i'm using 100 okay same thing we did for for our previous class using photo structure slab and beam design fcu that is the uh the uh, characteristic strength of concrete okay the compressive strength of concrete is 25 newton per millimeter then the tensile strength of steel the yield strength of steel is 410 then column fcu is the same thing with beam i'm using one concrete grade all through okay the same thing with the steel grade okay the depth of my panel that does the depth of the slab is 150 depth of my beam i'm using all the uniform depth 450 but even because of the design you know the software discovers that okay maybe 450 doesn't pass maybe as a result of deflection or something it's going to choose a better section for me okay bread is two to five i love that floor height three meter plus one five zero so three point one five zero okay that's three thousand one fifty mm column section two to five by two to five okay unit width of my wall by default the software is in 2.8 salmon for your two to five wall so the unit weight for it per, per unit per, per meter is 2.8 something okay density of concrete 24 so you can decide to change that if you want to do that all right so we can now check other materials below beam section offset uh, this is not important but just come here diameter of lateral reinforcement is 16 mm number of buying layer for this is you are just telling the software four per layer so we are not going to be struggling with space for the quartz aggregate to pass during concrete okay you should have sufficient space for concrete to pass through the number of layer for lateral reinforcement too then uh, we've already defined this you know here we've already defined that so it's have been affected here so foundation depth one two these are all default settings okay at the end of the day the software will choose what is most favorable Okay. but you can also decide to do that so foundation depth is the total foundation from from the ground level my my excavation is one two so it all depends on your soil parameters okay and the depth given to you by your soil investigator then the uh, foundation height foundation height 1.5 uh, foundation thickness that's the thickness of the foot in itself okay thickness of the foot in itself is uh, one three Oh, sorry it's 300 mm okay then this foundation height okay apart from the fact that uh your foundation depth is 1.2 from the ground surface from 1.2 there is extra 300 that is the projection above the ground level that's why you have in 1.5 uh what again panel type blah 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 and all of that density of concrete 24 we've done this already so no need so just apply changes that's all okay apply the changes all right so having done this uh, the next thing we are going to be doing is uh, inserting floors so we are going to generate the number of floors we need don't forget we are dealing with a single floor okay just the first floor and roof okay we are not going more than that all right so let's check it out so having done this the next thing you go back to modeling you come to floor property sorry copy floor okay copy floor click on the the, the drop down arrow you click on copies to create multiple floors you click on it all right how many floors do i need i need two two is first floor and my roof okay the roof is also considered as a, as a, as a story you know because it has beams and columns okay all right so depth of roof beam i don't want anything you know more than 300 it's not carrying any significant load except roof loading then uh, breadth of beam this roof gk you can decide to change this okay so the dead load for my roof here is 1.5 1.5 is reasonable it, it's recommended by the code and the uh, roof gk which is the the imposed load is 0.75 that's reasonable too because uh in nigeria we are not really subjected to snow loading and all of that so 
that is also fine okay so this is good so when you're done you click on copy and create multiple floor just to create the two floors for you yes yes wow so we've succeeded in doing this perfectly so you can see second floor and the third floor so when you're done close so you check down here you see ground floor you move next you see first floor you go again you see the roof level okay so the next thing we're going to be doing now is uh, go back first to the ground floor we are going to insert beams okay beams so you come here and you click on create new beam span once you click this it's going to create beam automatically for you let's go to view zoom this out a little all right so you can see what i'm talking about now all your beams have been inserted completely for you do the same thing for the first floor model create new beam span do the same thing again for your roof create new beam span and now don't forget at this level we are not dealing with panels anymore so we are dealing with roof beam so we need to delete this panel so it doesn't increase the dead load on the beam so you click on one of them and then you come to panel type then you click roof panel okay so that has been activated so you come back to you come to uh, we are going to copy that property and paste all around. So let's go to modify, okay? Match property. We are going to match panel property. So I click on this. I'm carrying this panel property to distribute to every single panel, okay? All of them are roof panel. All of them. All right. So when you're done, you escape it. So that has been done. You go back again to your ground floor. So, the next thing we're going to be doing now is um, we're going to be creating columns. We're going to create columns for all of this. And now, I don't want to I don't want to create a column here. Instead, I want this column. So, I don't need any column here. So, I go to my first floor first. Click on this beam. I need to take this beam up. Then, I'm going to extend this beam all through to this one. Okay? So, I delete. Yes. Okay, so stretch beam. So I want to stretch the beam before. Beam before. I'm stretching the beam before to this point. If I stretch beam after, it's going to stretch this, which is going to be very wrong for me. Okay, so I'm going to stretch this all the way here. Okay, then reconfigure beam, then uh, deactivate this. Yes. So you can see now this beam is a singular beam. Okay, that's what I want there. Let's check if it has been affected on the ground floor. It should be. Oh, no, we need to also do the same thing. Delete. Yes. Just what we did the other time. We're going to do it again. Okay. Perfect. You do the same thing too for your first floor. Sorry, for your roof beam. Do the same thing. Do the same thing. Alright. Sorry, I didn't deactivate column. That's why columns have come automatically. Okay, but normally if, if you want to inside inst column, you come here and you go to create column, okay? Create column for all structure, for the old structure recommended. This is what you're supposed to do. But mine has come al already, so no need for that. All right, so let's see how this looks like in 3D. So we go to view. Let's look at the 3D view. Oh, uh, okay. That's how it is. So ignore there. There are no slabs here. Okay, there are no slabs here, so just ignore. This is where the slab is. Okay, so or th this is cool. This is cool. So let's go back and uh, take it back to floor plan. So we are done. The next thing we are going to do is to run analysis. So let's see what we have in our next class: analysis and design. Okay, so uh, see you in the next class where we will be running analysis and design.